Hey, what's up guys? This is Dave from NetcodeSource.com and in this video I'm going to teach you a little bit about angles, what type of angles you want to hold, what type of angles you don't want to hold, and what to watch out for. And it's going to be a really quick video, but it's going to have some good information in it and I think you could apply this information to many other spots and areas on every single map in CSGO. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is holding stationary angles and a general idea of what not to do. If you're holding a stationary angle at a common pre-fire spot, things are usually not going to work out very well against good players. They're going to do something like that. And like as you can see, I didn't even really have time to react to that. And that's a common occurrence when you hold those type. The next angle I'm going to show you guys is what I call an off angle. And it's going to be an angle that's sort of next to like a common pre-fire angle generally, but it's at a different spot and a spot that nobody's going to come out emphasizing the peak. Nobody's going to come at this angle and just anticipate you being there. There are they're just not going to do it. That's why it's called an off angle and it's really effective. So I'm going to show you from a T's perspective how it looks when someone's holding an off angle and as you can see it's pretty tough to get the kill. I mean he's not even in a spot that I'm going to look at. As soon as I clear that spot I'm going to look to the right and it's just a really you know, good way to get the advantage on the other player by holding that off. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you is where you're at a pretty common angle, but instead of being posted and holding, you peek out every like five seconds or so, like so. So I see the smoke's coming, I'm not gonna peek out, I'm gonna like sit and dodge flashes, and then I'm gonna peek out. What that's gonna do is, the T is gonna come, he's gonna clear the spot, then he's gonna look towards other spots, and and try to clear that and you're going to fly out of the original spot his crosshair is not going to be on you and you're going to get yourself an easy kill so generally you peak from anywhere from like every five to ten seconds or so depending on the spot in order to do that and that's a really good way of getting kills especially because of the net code in this game how there's a very high peekers advantage and generally speaking the peeker does have the advantage in this game so now you saw it from my point of view and how easy it was to get the kill let me show you what would happen if you're a t so as a T, you're generally going to smoke the right side. You're going to come over here. You're going to peek that. You're going to see it's clean. You're going to peek this. And then if you're peeking out every 5 to 10 seconds or so, you're just going to get raked by the guy peeking out after you've cleared the spot. So that's a really good way to hold angles, is just peeking out every once in a while, even if it's out of common space. Alright guys, um, thank you all for watching this. This has been a quick video on angles. I'm going to show, I showed you, you know, two examples of what you want to do and then one example of what's a pretty bad idea generally. So just to recap, do hold off angles and peek out every like five to ten seconds. Generally speaking, you don't want to hold stationary angles too much, especially if it's common pre-fire angles, because that is how you get in trouble against good players who have great crosshair placement. You might be able to get away with holding common angles against, you know, maybe you're in matchmaking and you're in a lower division, but as you rise through the ant ranks, people are going to be pre-firing those angles, they're going to be peaking those angles with extreme confidence and emphasis, and more times than not, you're going to die. So when you do play, you want to take the high percentage kills, and you want to make the game easier on yourself. And to make the game easier on yourself, you got to surprise the other people, and you got to outsmart them. Anyways, guys, it's been Dave from NetcoSource.com. Thank you guys for watching.